Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see what the person that is on your mind when it comes to love does not want you to know currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign. So feel free to switch the energies around as needed. And I also want to thank each and every one of you that have been donating to our channel. Those of you that have become Mystic VIP, Mystic members, all of you viewing my readings, each and every one of you that have been subscribing, liking, sharing. I truly appreciate each and every one of you so, so much. Thank you. All right. So I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck. So let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy of what this person does not want you to know currently, we have goat i love you we also have the empress and we have the two of pentacles i can tell you right now this one's gonna be juicy okay because when it comes to this person they don't want you to know that you're the goat you're the greatest of them all no one else compares to you this person is still in love with you which i understand i know sometimes the way that they act the things that they do, it doesn't show love, right? But keep in mind, some people just don't know how to give love, accept love, or they just don't know how to love in a healthy way, okay? But yeah, this person is admitting that they're still in love with you and they love you so much because they've never met anyone else like you. I feel as though this person did try to juggle you, but I feel as though they feel foolish for doing so, okay? Because this car, and I've never looked at it in this way but this person on the card like it reminds me of like clown energy okay and they feel like a clown for trying to juggle an empress or an emperor whether you're a male or a female this person sees you as the empress so of course you're the goat these cards go hand in hand there's only one empress and one emperor in the deck you cannot be replaced you're divine i feel as though this person they haven't been stable ever since they tried to get over on you. I feel as though their money is up and down. Also, um, their emotions. I feel as though this person may have like a split personality or um, they just switch up a lot. But I feel as though this person feels like a clown for switching up on you. They are admitting that the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So whoever else they were dealing with, the grass wasn't greener there. They may have encountered a false twin flame. Okay. But they were really connecting with the karmic lover. Wow. So yeah, when it comes to this person, they feel like a fool. They feel like a fool. They know that your energy cannot be replaced. This person will never be able to find you and anyone else. I feel as though you guys were not perfect, but I feel like you were pure. Okay. I feel as though you really tried to nurture this connection. You may have tried to nurture this person. I feel as though there's a light about you. I feel like um, you guys were, I feel like for some of you, you really tried to endure at some point in time with this person because you may have saw growth with them, okay? But yeah, they feel like a fool, okay? I also feel as though this person is receiving karma. They're hoping that things will change though between the two of you. They feel as though the two of you were destined to meet. We have the emperor here, so we have a pair. So for some of you, this may be a twin flame connection. They feel as though the two of you are destined to be together, destined to marry, like the two of you are made for each other. This person is well aware that they hurt you, okay? They may have put you in a third party situation. For some of you, this person was definitely sneaking around. Now that card, as you saw, just flew out of my hand right on top of I love you. So I feel as though, like I was saying before, even though this person is saying that they love you, their actions, you wouldn't be able to tell because they were sneaking around. For some of you, they didn't know, they didn't want you to know how deeply they loved you or they would avoid um, tr telling you how much they loved you or they would avoid expressing their feelings. But yeah, I feel as though this person, they hurt you multiple times. And I feel as though at some point they may have even been lying about third parties. They really thought that they could get away with it. They may have chosen several different options over you, but none, none of those options turned out to be what they thought it would be. 
this person is a very good manipulator. They have a good way with words. I feel as though they tried their best to pull the wool over your eyes, but it's like... Come on, like you guys are the teacher. You're the magician. You're the teacher. They're the student. Sit down. They need to sit down. Oh my goodness. I feel as though for some of you, you may have tried, and this is specific. Some of you tried to show this person how to manifest and they're so clouded um, with, there's so much going on with them. They can't even manifest properly or when they try to manifest something, it doesn't turn out the way that they want it to turn out. But regardless, I feel as though other options that they were dealing with, they were feeding these people a lot of lies just to get what they wanted out of them. They may have wanted some something materialistic from these people or either they were using their own material possessions in order to flaunt or to um, get their way with these other options. But they're wanting a new opportunity with you and they feel as though over time, things will turn in their favor. I also feel as though those of you that have ended a cycle with this person, you're coming into um, a lot of blessings, a lot of new beginnings. This person, I feel as though they're aware that a relationship with you could have changed their life. The two of you were meant to be like a power couple. There's definitely a soul contract here, but this person got lost along the way. They want to talk to you about having a new opportunity, having a new start. They also want to say some things to let you know or to make you think that they mean business this time around. But see, their problem is that they, they try to come off like, the emperor but they're really a page so they're not about what they what what they talk about or they can't back it up they don't put in the work they want your attention they love when you give them um emotion they they like getting a rise out of you for those of you that have been distant from this person, they're hurt over that. For some of you, whenever this person would become distant, it's because they were dealing with a third party. Hmm. For some of you, they would talk to people while they were at work. They would be conversing with other people. Now for, and this is specific, so take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. For some of you, they may have been trying to like have a relationship with their boss or um, or either like a co-worker or something like that. I also feel as though this person knows that they need to change their ways, but at the same time, it's like they don't put in the action to to change, to make that change. Now, for some of you, and this is only if you suspect it, so don't make this fit, but you'll know if it's for you because you've suspected this before. For some of you, this person is lying about their sexuality, okay? They may have, um, or they're avoiding it. Like they may be bisexual or interested in the same sex, but they're trying their best to avoid facing reality about that. Hmm. Huh. So for some of you, that's why they were always dealing with these different options. It's to kind of like pull the wool over their own eyes in regards to their sexuality. But like I said, take that if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. Don't force that to fit. This person, they're paranoid because they feel as though you have gotten away or that they can't um, hold on to you any longer. I feel as though this person would, whenever they, again, whenever they would hold back from you, it's because they were dealing with other options. But I feel as though this person wanted to have their cake and eat it too because you were an ego boost for this person. You were an ego boost. But they also like to get um, attention from other people as well. They're coming off as narcissistic. I also feel as though this person is, um, they manifest lack into their life. Like for some of you, it's like this person has a very negative mindset. Um, they speak lack over themselves. 
Like they always make it seem as though they don't have enough or um, things aren't going well for them or something like that. And they're actually manifesting it. Now, for some of you, they try to manifest lack into your life, but you're over here winning or you will be. I see generational wealth for you guys. So spirit wants you to continue being bold, continue being courageous, continue going after your goals. OK, that actually pisses this person off, too. They do want to dominate you sexually. I see that here. Hmm. It's like this person does not want anyone else pursuing you. They don't want anyone pursuing you. If you've ended a cycle with them, they're pissed off about that. But those of you that have learned the lessons and if you have ended a cycle, you're going through a rebirth right now that's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Hmm. This person is a mess. It's like they're very fickle, very in and out, someone that you can't depend on. They have this player energy about them, but at the same time, they they see you as the one that they want to marry. It's like either they're afraid of commitment. They're either afraid of commitment or this person just likes, they just like having a good time. They like playing the field, but they want to keep you there. Oh, some of you just have grown bored with this person. If they come back in with this offer, some of you are going to reject it. Okay. But they regret losing this divine love. Or if you're still dealing with this person, if you were to walk away from them, they would regret it. They also regret offering love to someone else. Okay. Hmm. They're in love with you. For some of you, they may have gotten into a relationship with someone else, but they're still in love with you. Or if they're dealing with someone else, they're still in love with you. My goodness. Ooh, that was a lot. So let's see what else comes out. I'm going to pull a few more cards in regard to this person. All right, so give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person that is on my viewer's mind, when it comes to love. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently? What, do my view, what does this person not want my viewers to know at the time that my viewers watch this reading when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. They definitely don't want you to know how much they love you or how much they care about you but they feel like a fool and they should like you try to juggle an empress or an emperor the audacity like seriously but they're admitting even though they've dealt with other people whoever else they've been dealing with they can't compare to you like they can't compare we have less passion so this person still has a very deep physical or sexual attraction to you they still desire you for some of you there's a karmic that has worked spell work on this person okay hmm yeah there's a karmic that has possibly worked spell work possibly to keep this person um where they deal with them or keep this person um focused on them or something like that but see the the, it's actually kind of backfiring because it's causing this person to have like anger issues or um, temper that is causing a temper within this person. And that's part of backfiring of spell work. But there's definitely a karmic that has worked spells on this person. Hmm. The karmic may have worked spells to either um make this person focus on them or to make this person give them money or something like that take it however it fits give me more please what does this person not want my viewers to know currently what is my thank you true love they feel as though you're their true love and look at this this fatal attraction card if i can't have you no one can so for some of you that's the mentality that they have okay Hmm. 
So they feel as though you're their true love. This is someone that doesn't want to see you with anyone else. Give me more, please. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently when it comes to love? What does this person not want my viewers to know? Jail time. Okay. So this jail time card can um, indicate a few di different things. This person may have a run in with the law. Okay. Um, it could be something as simple as like a traffic citation or a traffic violation it could be where this person um has like a criminal background okay for some of you this person could be incarcerated currently but i feel as though for some of you with this jail time card this person feels as though they're not able to let you go like they feel stuck hmm This person is also very much easily influenced by the people around them. Give me more, please. What does this person not want my viewers to know? And I don't like that fatal attraction with jail time card. I don't like that. So be careful with this person if they were to, you know, want to see you or something like that. Because it's like I'm getting the energy of like, I'll go to jail. You know, like I'll, you know, I'll go to jail. I don't like that. Like, I'll go to jail before I see you with someone else. I don't like that. Give me more, please. What does this person not want my viewers to know? They may have told someone that we have real effort. So they do want to put in effort toward you they know that they do need to change their life or change their behavior for the better okay but they feel stuck right now and it's mainly because they're easily influenced this may be someone that has a playboy or a playgirl um reputation and so these fake friends or fake family members or whoever's around them they encourage this type of behavior they may think it's funny you know that this clown is doing this. But it's going to catch up with them. Give me more please. In regards to what this person doesn't want my viewers to know currently. Mm, 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 mm. Thank you. So we have watching, stalking, or spying. So they're watching you. They're stalking you. For some of you, they may have been trying to um, make you jealous with a karmic. So if there's anyone that... Um, if this person ever admitted to dealing with someone else or if they tried to flaunt someone else in your face they were trying to make you jealous okay they did that purpose on purpose or purposely on purpose let's just leave it at that <laughs> okay give intentionally give me more please holy spirit what does this person not want my viewers to know currently what does this person not want my viewers to know when it comes to love Okay, thank you. So we have reconcile recovery. So they want to put in real effort to reconcile with you to recover the connection all because the grass wasn't greener on the other side. It wasn't greener. So they want their good their good thing back with you. You know, they want you back. Like you cannot replace an empress or an emperor. Um, you can't. Like that's... If you distance yourself from this person or even if they distance themselves from you, you will always be the one that got away. They'll always look at you in that light. For some of you, if they have children with someone else, they may have tried to juggle you with like the mother or father of their child. That's not for everyone. So take it if it fits, leave it if it doesn't. But yeah, they secretly watch you. They secretly spy on you. And for some of you, the karmic has even um, tried to spy on you or find out information about you. Hmm. For some of you, they're going to come back to recover this connection. They may come back to reconcile. And this time they're going to tell you like, I, I'm, I'm going to do right this time. Like, I'm going to, like, I've really changed. Like, I'm, I'm going to do right. <sighs> okay, so let's get one more card to end the reading. 
Give me one more card, please. Holy Spirit to end the reading. What does this person not want my viewers to know currently? When it comes to love. Thank you. Gold digger. Engaging in relationships for money instead of love. And at the bottom of the, of the deck, I'm sorry I've messed things up. I'm sorry, I know I've messed things up. So for some of you, um, this person, they've done some pretty grimy things for money, okay? Um, for some of you, like they may do something illegal for money, okay? But for others of you, I just feel like this person, either they were using their money to get, to engage in relationships or they were engaging in relationships to use people for their money. And now they regret that. It's like it wasn't even worth it because they're realizing the abundance lies with you. Hmm. There's a lot of rumors and gossip around this person as well. Some people even gossip about them like they act crazy. Like they must be on something. People gossip about them. For some of you, they do have a drug or alcohol addiction. And people may talk about how they act when they're under the influence. For some of you, people talk about the things that they've done while they're under the influence. Like they've done some crazy things that they don't want people to know about. But being unfaithful and being a cheater, them dealing with multiple people, it's caused a lot of negative energy and spiritual blockages within this person. Because for some of you, this person may be, they may have like an addiction to sex. They're definitely, um, whatever this negative entity is attached to them, it definitely causes like issues within their, um, it's causing like an imbalance. Like this person... They, they, they're not always able to control their anger or, or they have outbursts of anger. Hmm. Wow. So that's a lot. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.